Facebook is the world's most popular and fastest growing social networking website. Since its launch in February 2004, it has gained more than 500 million active users, which is about one person for every 14 in the world. The site allows anyone 13 or older to become a member, but is being used by children as young as 7 years old. Facebook has become extremely dangerous due to personal arguments posted on walls, the use of profanity by young ones, and also the acceptance of strange people not knowing their background, whether the person is a stalker or sex offender. In the Bahamas, there was a case on October 4th where a magistrate sentenced a student of the College of Bahamas to eight months in prison for sending a woman threatening messages on the social networking site Facebook. What has become more concerning is some of the inappropriate language posted in statuses such as, Expletive, man. I lost my phone. One ten-year-old posted, If you don't like me, turn the expletive around. My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. All the boys keep looking the most popular in the school. All statuses posted by young students. News 4 spoke with the principal of two local high schools on Providenciales who told us their views of Facebook and informed us of the school's ground rules and punishments. It can be very interesting as well as destructive. And people can find a lot of information on Facebook. Well, we don't have anything in black and white written directly related to Facebook. But we have a school rule book. We also have a contract that appears signed. There's a clause in the contract that says that the student coming to Maranatha High School, as long as they are a student, they are monitored 24 hours, so you belong to us. So if there is any violation of any rules, even outside, including Facebook, that something is posted that is not in good taste and it is brought to attention, then it will take action. It's worse if it happened to a student who did something in pertaining to the school or another student. We are very serious about that. I don't think children 13 and older, under should be allowed to be on Facebook. Facebook as a social network um, is really for students who are maybe teenagers and, and above, you know, and because they will really understand how to use it properly and what to um, post on it. Um, younger children, 13 and older, might put themselves at risk in that they may um, contact or accept friendship from someone who is not seeking to be just a friend but is seeking something more and put their family at risk and themselves at risk. With everything else, it can be a distraction. Um, it has it, its good qualities and its usefulness and also it has it, it, its bad qualities and, um, and disadvantages. And, and so if the students spend too much time on Facebook, um, going through, browsing through, surfing, whatever they're doing on it, and then time that, valuable time that should be spent reviewing schoolwork, doing homework assignment and so forth, then, then it is definitely a distraction. And um, these students will not perform as well as they could if they were not wasting so much of their time. Our students have been told in no uncertain term that they are not allowed to post things on Facebook as it relates to the school. Um, they are told that um, with regards to the media or any social network um, posting information um, sur um, concerning the school is the responsibility of the school administration. And um, so if it is brought to our attention that students have po um, violate that rule and post um, things relating to space, uh, Facebook, then we normally um, punish them in accordance with this education policy as to them breaking school rule. Parents, if you are not certain what your kids are posting on Facebook, here are a few tips to ensure that it is possible. Be in charge. Monitor where your kids go on the internet and what they do. You can be the administrator on their computer and create some restrictions. Be their friend, literally. Get a Facebook ID and become their friend. Monitor what they are posting. Be aware. Be aware of the fact that your kids may have more than one Facebook account and may be using an alternative one to post inappropriate messages. We encourage the parents of the TCI to be aware of what your children are doing to ensure that they are safe. For WIV4 News, I'm Artavia Bassett.